podcast character designs done by Demon Artie. Be sure to follow her over on Twitter at Artie Demon. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sin. Yeah, 15 PCA. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord. Link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. We got a new trailer for Star Trek Discovery, and uh, I, I was I was hoping that it was like canceled or wasn't gonna happen. No, because of the not. you know the whole uh, you know pandemic stuff and everything got pushed back. So we got a trailer. It's there's there's a lot of stupid crap. Oh yeah, but there's some cool stuff too. I like the speech at the end because it's very Federation. I like that. It's uplifting. Yeah. It's you know do the right thing. And it's the, from Michael Burnham. Too, yeah, Michael Burnham says it. It's pretty decent, but there's a lot of um. It's just silly stuff that I just don't like. And and overall, I think the graphics, like the special effects, have taken a little bit of a nosedive. I think I think they probably Budgets. Budgets. I think they were obligated to do season three and like, okay, we're just gonna do I don't think it's not as bad as CW, but it's <laughs> it's, it's not super cool. Bad, right? well, it's not so bad, but it's it's in the middle. It's <laughs> it's in between that. Let's put it that way. So it opens up do you remember we went into the future? Like, oh yeah, I remember they went to the future. It's been so and, long. And then we see Michael Burnham in this the angel suit. The red angel. That it looks is so, so bad. bad. It looks so bad. It's not Star Trek. I don't want that that forward look like backwards and she's like it just it doesn't look good it's just no. not a good look i mean it almost has a quasi iron man feel yeah there, but that's not star trek like a bad iron man yeah but we see a bunch of destroyed stuff i'm assuming this must be remnants of a battle or something yeah. like that but they land on a planet and from the way that it it's being shown michael landed like way earlier than the than the discovery yeah, I'm, I'm assuming like it, if you ever watched the the first star, the new star trek trilogy where they're like they both go into like that that, that, that black hole, but it's different time. Yeah, so like one well, second on that side. Last second, make could be years, could be months. Because it looks like she's sweet. stranded. Yeah, and then she's like the suits the computer, so she's outside of the suit talking to it, and like it's scanning for life forms. Oh, there's multiple life forms. That's year one three thousand one hundred something. And uh, instead of like, there's her life form, a computer. Is there a scan for life forms? Oh, there's there's life forms. I'm like, okay, what kind of life forms are there? She just like screams and it like like an insane scream. She does it a couple times in the trailer. Yeah, I know that was the worst of this. Trailer. Remember one of our big complaints about Discovery overalls when she was, I have no emotions, I am a Vulcan, but now she's like going way over the top. Yeah, you see, but that's a, that's a dumb writing. To give us the middle ground, you didn't need that. Just had to act like a normal human. She didn't have to do that. That's a cycle. I was raised by Vulcans. I have to act like this. To doing screaming, the, doing the scream up the top of her lungs. Yeah, like, she's literally screaming like a little girl who got the. Presents you wanted for Christmas. Yep, and or someone announcing a WWE. <laughs> yeah, like way announcer. crazy over the over top. top. We get to meet some new people. We get this. Uh, I don't. They don't say any names of any of the people, but uh, I guess some of the there's humans on this this planet, and we get like this black dude. He's, he's pretty cool. I like him. He's he's big. He's tall. He's kind of buff, and he has that British accent. Very very. But he's cool. serious, and he's serious. That's what that's I like the about. That's the key. That's the key. Goofy goofball guy. Thank God he's looks like he's gonna be a uh, straight lace. Probably a survivor. Because I guess the Federation, I guess he talks about something called the burn. Yeah. That's when the universe took a hard left. Whatever that means. Yeah, so don't we don't know. know what happened. I was thinking, is this going to have any connection to Picard? Is that that race of super robots or whatever? The thing is, I don't like that storyline because they, because the way it presented, it just feels like Mass Effect. I yeah. don't like it. I just don't like Very it. Very Reaper-ish. Yeah. So did that finally happen? They made it, again, Maybe. can Judgment Day be prevented? You know, is, is it going to happen no matter what? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So maybe that's what that is. But I like this guy. He's pretty cool. He's a really cool voice. Very uh, strong presence. Yeah. But then we see like the Discovery, which I'm assuming landed after her. And um, Suru, love the guy. Yeah. he's. I guess he's captain now, right? I'm assuming he's going to be captain. I would think so. I love Captain Suru. He yeah. is what the Federation is supposed to be. Yep. I, I like his little hand movements, the way he stands. He's cool. He's a cool looking alien. He's a alien. cool alien. It's a cool thing. I don't like what it did to the Kelpians, but regardless, I think it's yeah, a cool uh, alien. Yeah, forcing the evolution on a people. You can't do that. Direction. It's against the prime directive, but okay. But um, we get this funny scene. And again, we, we went from ha- hating Tilly to kind of liking her to kind of hating her again. Yeah. And here she is. I'm not going to say anything, but she looks like she got a little bigger. <laughs> I don't know that, that it just does that, that. Maybe there's a lot of layers, but she's looking pretty big. Well, at least if the alpha fits her, if but you, she, she, she's, she's not muffin topping like before, <laughs> but she's looking like she's getting about, about it's like, an, Hey, you know, whatever. Yes, what, okay. Or, or, you know, since uh, I'm a fat guy, so I can say, yeah. you know, you, you get a little bit bigger. Yeah. But look how cool Sue looks in his black outfit. I he like him. Cool. I, cool. I love his hands, the way everything he moves. He's yeah. pretty cool. He's a cool guy. But I guess there's, been survivors and the Federation ain't what it used to be 
and um, we we don't know. Uh, even the Federation logo looks way different. Yeah, there's there's very few stars, so there's only maybe a handful of planets left in the Federation. When there was like over at even in Kirk's time, at least 180 planets that are part of the Federation. So yeah. So we see that they're meeting new people. I'm assuming they're on a new ship, or this could be like a base or something. Mm -hmm. But the technology difference... Oh, my God. This guy, no offense, guys. It'd be like literally... And I was talking to Crimson about this before we started the podcast. He didn't catapult to fight a Y-22. Yeah. There would be no contest. It'd rip right through their shields. We, we, have, we have horses yeah. and like lances, and we're going up against tanks. Yeah. It's just not, not going to work. The technology would just rip through their ship. There'd be no contest. So we see this new girl. She's pretty cute. And the humor. It's... And it looks like Stamets took a little step back, I remember, think. Remember in the beginning where Stamets was like very like, I'm the asshole guy who knows yeah, everything. Yeah. Oh, we're a little dysfunctional. That's just how we work. And then Jet Reno's like, no, we haven't. Yeah, the real Jet Reno, the one I always reference to the the, the, the medical doctor in Lower Decks. That's yeah. what she, she is in the flesh. And Saying, it's that. And it's that. Condescending, condescending things again. It's just um that <laughs> kind of attitude. <laughs> I hate that. Me too. But so the, the, the jokes aren't funny. And then we, you know, the, the, we see the guy kind of talking more to Michael Burnham about what's going on and like, but she, she talks about how she's a time traveler and there was no other way to stop this. But I, I want to really know what went down. Was there some war? Was there, the, the, again, there's stuff, there's so many questions, Kardashians, Dominion, all these things. We don't know. But now this is getting kind of removed from that. Yeah. We're getting to that point now. Where's the after, after effect of that? And like I said, and, and Crimson was saying this earlier, what happened to the temporal police? Yeah. Is that not a thing? Did they not know that's not a thing? I guess they don't know. Because why would they not try to stop this if it was that bad? Here's, here's what I do to explain this. When Marco Burnham jumped to the future, it caused like a temporal distortion where it made like a time bubble and they can't pierce it. So they can't or enter this timeline. Timelines. Because when she did that, it created an alternate timeline and they can't get to it. Yeah, it's an alternate. They can't get to the normal future. Yeah. But will they ever do that? No. That's, that's what I would say. Oh, of course. It's like, purposes. I don't know, five minutes of dialogue? And then it's a Star Trek. Yeah. We can do it. We, we, we accept it. Then we get to another part where it's like, Okay, um, yeah. so we get um, Giorgio, she's the evil one, member yeah. from the Mirror Universe, mm -hmm. and she's talking to, I don't know, these are like some rebel guys or survivor yeah. dudes, and, he, and this one dude's like, you don't have any authority here. Then one millisecond, how dare you tell a woman oh, she yeah. has no authority, yep. because one one millisecond later, she's beating the living hell out of all of them. It's insane. That's what you get for talking to her that way. I was, that was probably one of the low points of this trailer, too. It was ridiculous. Like, what? You can't talk to a woman like that in 2020. <laughs> we see they're using the spore drive. Yeah. So, okay. Just, so they still have that. Um, dude uses the, opens the Matrix. <laughs> and we're talking about the Matrix from Transformers. <laughs> because like, it's literally like in his chest and it, it's so stupid. I just want to start playing. You got you can, the touch. <laughs> you got the power. It's pretty bad. It's not Trek. That no. kind of weapon isn't a Trek weapon. But this is bad. I don't know what's worse. That, the Red Angel, or the Mega Man weapons the Andorians have. Blasters. Yeah, they're like arm, arm cannons. Yeah, all, all ridiculous. And there's Burnham. Again. I don't know if these two scenes are connected because right after he does that, we get another scene of Michael Burnham going, Aah! like she's like screaming Guys, at the top of her lungs. That That's stupid. Calm down, girlfriend. <laughs> you're, a little, you're being a little weird. But then we see a trill and then we see some, looks like two kids. This is going to be, I'm assuming that that's going to be the non-binary character and how they're, they kept championing that. I don't give a crap. I just want a good character. Yeah, I, know, I just matter. hope the character's written well. I, I don't, don't care about any other stuff. Why does that matter? I, well, I don't, that's always, again, when they put that head of the story, you know it's going to be bad. Yeah, we, when the time. first thing I know about you is like your pronouns and all yeah. the other stuff, well, then it just shows you how Can how anyone empty. name me anything in media when they do that with a character ever being good? Can you name me one? Can't. You can't. But it looks like they're starting to build some alliances, starting to get things you know, back on track, and they're talking about rebuilding Starfleet, and then we get the Michael Burnham speech about how, no matter how dangerous the task how bleak the situation is we step up to the plate even if i don't want to do it you have to do it that's that's the, that, that, that starfleet thank you so much so maybe uh someone in lower deck should talk like this no they'll never happen but those two these two things are canon they both happen i know i know so i do like the speech at the end and i'm just hoping um that uh stamets just I that was a line. Yeah, it was just a line, and stop trying to be funny. Because you started, you started, I started, I started to like you a little bit, uh, damn it, and you started, don't regret something, man. So, and then it kind of shows some little bit, a couple of action scenes, and then boom, in at the trailer. 50 50, 
There was some good. There was a lot of stupid. But you know what? This is the first time I could say it was ever 50-50. I'll yeah. tell you that. It was never, never like that. Maybe my expectations have been lowered so much, especially after watching Lower Decks. My, oh, my, my mind track expectations are in the freaking garbage. Well, that would be funny like if they have an episode of Discovery and they go look around and they find like a piece of the tree or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever it's called. I forgot the name of the it. The Cerritos. Cerritos. Wouldn't that be funny? That'd just be... just have a little callback to that. Wouldn't that be too funny? <laughs> it's all, and it still looks animated. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't oh, look yeah. like a real thing. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, so... Um, that's this is gonna start up right after Lower Decks. Yeah, in October, we're literally gonna get nothing but Star Trek until the January, which you'd have told my old in the nineties. Yeah, <laughs> that'd have been amazing. I know, right? But that'd uh, be incredible. Overall, this is probably the best Discovery trailer out of like all the seasons. Yeah, but there. that's not saying much. It's still, it's a 50, and I'm still, 50. and I'm still, yeah, yeah, I'm still lukewarm on the whole situation. Yeah. I, I just think the weapons are gonna be silly. I like that new that new dude, the the, the black guy. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I want more Captain Suru. Everyone else kind of a sidestep a little bit. Definitely, definitely. I don't like Jen Reno. I just don't I, like her. I'm a comedian. Let's not hire comedians to do sci-fi unless they honestly truly got to be yeah, care like, about it. I, and like maybe, Simon Pegg, and, and you that, actually cared about yeah, but Trek? It, it wouldn't be, it's not so bad when they hired the guy who played Mud because that is kind of a comedic character, but not a Starfleet officer. Yeah. Don't. That's just stupid. I don't know. Um, I guess it's like Trek days. I haven't even checked that. No thing is, I've not watched one second of it. I'm only getting the trailers of what they've been showing. I don't really care what. They yeah, say. because that whole like non-binary character. Because they forgot all about Riker and. I know. And that, well, but they, but do you notice how they they change it? Uh, probably they did. They need. They said it in a certain way to where it's like, well, it's the first one ever. No, it's not. It's not, and the thing is, that wasn't in matter, and it was a good story. It yeah. was a generally good story. And and it, again, very much how like in uh, the Orville about a girl who are we. To tell another race what's right and what's wrong with their it. people. That's how you do it. I love it so oh, much. Oh my oh, gosh, such a good it. episode. Don't you see? Get I want to talk about the Orville again. <laughs> I can the, talk about it for hours. Or, or the, uh, the, the end of the uh, the Next Generation episode in Riker, and after they do everything, and she's talking to him, and he can she, he can tell, oh damn, they they got to her. They, they got to her. her. And then she's like, oh hello, and he's like, oh, and he's trying to talk to her, and she's like, very standoffish. She's like, oh, fuck. you like actually cared about her, and it but just that's took what it they all did. Away. They knew he was gonna he was his authority to kidnap her. He they knew it. That's a good episode. Anyways, uh, Discovery, uh, well, what was it, October-ish? October, middle of October, I think. Uh, That's when they end when Lower Decks But ends. you know what, but since it's so far in the future, it's better now. At least it, may, at least it can't screw up things. Yeah. I don't like the technology, obviously, with the way they're showing it, but they're so outdated, too. Yeah. Guys, there's just no way they could help in any way. Let's bring some Revolutionary War soldiers and have them go fight in Iraq right now. Yeah, no contest. <laughs> they <laughs> <be> <laughs> just get slaughtered. <laughs> just take their muskets. <laughs> exactly, guys. <laughs> You could get like a garbage scout could probably pull up. The but discovery. we have, but we have, we have Michael Burnham though. Oh, I know. They can do everything and scream really loud now, and probably. just be super exuberant about things. See, you went too far. Yeah. See, we didn't just, just make her normal. I'd rather be like a yeah, no, no, yeah, like a little this, you know, a little fist would have been fine. Yeah, but no, she's literally screaming top of her lungs. Oh, ridiculous. Crimson Saint here. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single upload. If you have any tips or story ideas, hit us up on Twitter at C15Podcast, or better yet, join our Discord server. Link in the description below.